thought no one else could help him. Feel for the guy. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely work. I saw an old Grand Master playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Dead. Never seen anything like it. Whoa! They're gonna blow up the whole block! There! Oh, look at <laughs> What's up? There he is! I'm stopping you today! <laughs> The flame burns eternal! That's the best you can do!
Say what you will about social media, and I can say a lot. It's helped. So many businesses. This is stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago. Everyone's safe inside, and the fire department can take over. We're good. Hey, Moss. Getting used to hearing that voice of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, I'm Blaren. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me the plan is something big. Do this. Reckless driving, not great. Who's the spider? Move it! Hey guys, can you drop yourselves off at the nearest jail? You think you got us, huh? Any idea how much property damage you just caused?
Let's all cool down for a bit. Don't worry. I'll get you to an ambulance in no time. Oh my god. Thank you. We're close. You're doing great. Here you go. And now you're in much better hands. Bless you, Spider-Man. Take advantage of that backdrop too. I'd also be worried about constantly launching balls off the roof, but I guess they can afford it. Here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she really did what? That's good. Reminds me of the people who write into the bugle. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. Saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. Need to stop the cultists before I hit those fires. You think you just leave without the flames of approval? There's no place we won't find you. Yeah, you're finished now. The flame burns eternal.
Spider-Man. I was here for Devil's Bread. What are you doing? Uncle Aaron's waiting. Why am I so nervous? Hey Pete, I'm working on a college application and it says I gotta tell them about myself. More like sell yourself. It's the worst. You got any advice? Well, take me. Hi, I'm Peter Parker. I'm 25 years old, I have a bachelor's degree in biophysics, and I'm in love with the greatest woman ever. <laughs> Humble brag. Who is the best journalist in this city. Word. Go MJ. I try to live up to the example set by the other greatest woman ever. Can't put I this off forever. Gotta go see Uncle Aaron. <laughs> No! That gas truck's not gonna last much longer! We really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... Hey, Miles. That Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah. 
I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? How school? College? Anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. <laughs> Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. This isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. Don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. 
Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles, me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con. ¿Estás bien? Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Remember? You go on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. That'll definitely work. NYC, the mecca of basketball. I'm sure you can play it anywhere with just a ball in the net. But when you got the people in the apartment buildings watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asses. Sorry, nobody's getting branded today. <laughs> Swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Too rough of a trip. Take care. Thanks a ton. Man, people really don't appreciate you. City seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me.
Coordinates are showing a stash near the top of the Braxton building. How does he come up with this stuff? Send me after your crap and forget to make it. In this guy, Frank. Ever heard of the Braxton Heist? Uh, no. Exactly. It was my debut score as the Prowler. First time working with a crew, too. We went in to steal prototypes from Braxton secret tech division. But this kid double crossed us. Who? Never got a name. She was good. Pro. Beat in the truest sense of the word. Wasn't mad, though. It was a valuable lesson. I'm starting to get why you were dad's toughest case. <laughs> Good looking out on the sketch. Wonder who got the best of Uncle Aaron. Not many people can do that. Hi, I'm Spider-Man, and I'll be ruining your day. Think about how we use food to describe money sometimes. <laughs> Dough, cheddar, bread. Bacon. It's interesting. There's a prowler stash nearby. There it is. I might have to move that somewhere else.
Opened up plenty of these before. Don't mind if I do. Did come after his tech. Everything good, kid? We've got a few unauthorized access attempts for my stash in the shipping. Area. Yeah. That group that took Lee showed up. They must be real good if they found it. Even your dad wasn't able to. Dad? Who was the first showdown between Officer we Jefferson Davis you. and Prowler? Just, just, Had to hide in that know. shipping container for hours just to lose him. Almost wish he caught me right then and there. Never wanted him. Oh, hold on. Careful where you point that thing! There's an ambulance not too far away. I'll drop you right off. I really appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, thank you. I'll pay you back somehow. I'll try to help the city too. <laughs> Noah left my backpack around here somewhere. All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. Hey, Miles! Over here! Hey. You made it. <laughs> I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She left to get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm going to say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I can find out more. Do you have any of her personal items? Yes. She left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen any texts coming in or anything? Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps. 
wherever she is. The students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Send you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. <clears throat> She's gotta be around here somewhere. Better do this quietly. Yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello? You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no! I'll make it work! That's me! Great! I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production, but it's been hard to find time lately. Nikki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and, uh, thinking. The tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable. Trustworthy. Someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? Sorry. Gotta go. Um, I'll call you later. Or email. That could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. All right, with those guys out of the way, let's see where that tracker signal leads. Like I told you, I worked for Rand Corporation, not Oscar. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I worked for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. Time to squad, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, she's out! You hide. I've got these guys. There she is. This girl has to be breakable. How am I supposed to let that fly?
don't believe it. You took them out by yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. <laughs> as long as I can... Don't sue me! <sighs> Consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother first. <clears throat> Thanks to Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. You are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the Quan. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Not much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. The loan. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Sunscreen? And will one of you do my back, please?
crystal tower. I find them, and they're waiting for me. With all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Weapons? Whoever they are, they definitely read up on Marco. Wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Beast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May's stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But... Don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. I'll talk. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. <laughs> Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, and Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. Ah! Ah! <sighs> I mean... Whoa. to test out my pulse blast then. getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. What are those breathing exercises again? Last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. I can see light through that. 
that ceiling debris. said someone else is still trapped in Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Nobody here. Take some maneuvering. Mention the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in, painfully. Then. 
Thanks? So what's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri? Low lives call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried... Where have you been? What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Looks like Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. suffering through a and a country on the brink of a collapse not seen since the fall of the Roman Empire. Hey, watch the traffic. Is that a good photo, Spider-Man? <laughs> the Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to clap... I was wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring.
So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place... Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Chief, I've got it. Not with the AI you did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline. Primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away. Oh, nice! Those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh... Any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. I told you. So much to see here. Where do I even start? 
the origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here! The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. And innovative... Yeah. Hey. Whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Did you do the XRF analysis? Well, what if I needed a higher resolution? Hey. What are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes, can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Sorry, in a hurry. Show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting.
really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. Right. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I see what you're saying. The algorithm On your left. is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Attention. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Let's see. step closer to feeding the world <laughs> nice work listen i know you're not officially on but could you look at one more gene for me curious to get your take on it it's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens of course Okay, if I combine these traits...
Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. It might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-offy. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. to tell you some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city if you have time check them out i've sent you the location and your badge will grant you access all right i'll swing by hey sorry i didn't get back to you before but i was i just got a new job for real well that's awesome where's it at this new foundation run by my best friend it's it's incredible but i can fill you in later what's up the guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. <laughs> 